The 2010 Edinburgh International Festival is going to generate a lot of heat. It's a sexy, sensual program that explores the new worlds of North, South, Central America, the oceans of the Atlantic and Pacific cultures. Delve into our online brochure. There's many, many treasures to discover. George and Ira Gershwin's immortal operatic favourite, Porgy and Bess, opens this year's festival in a new production from the Opera de Lyon, directed by Jose Montalvo and Dominique Ervieux. This is a sensual feast for everyone. The German Baroque composer Karl Heinrich Graun and Frederick the Great of Prussia are an unlikely creative duo. Their opera, Montezuma, is based on the story of the great and tragic Aztec emperor, and Montezuma, as an opera, has everything. Betrayal, the clash of great civilizations, wholesale destruction, slaughter, you name it, it's got it. And from Opera Australia, and from the pen of one of the world's most renowned novelists, comes a new operatic achievement, Bliss. It's all very contemporary, it's all very, very real, and it's all very, very surreal. Pina Bausch is one of the great choreographers of the 21st century. Sadly, she died last year. This is a rare chance to see and experience her extraordinary company, the Dance Theatre Wuppertal. In their production, Agua, it's very silly, it's very funny, it's very vibrant, and it's all set in the Brazilian jungle. But if you want authenticity, go to Grupo Corpo, who are actually from Brazil. In their sensual, beautiful pieces on Coto and Parabello, they evoke a world of the steaminess and the sensuality of the Brazilian rainforest itself. Lemmy Ponifazio is a Samoan choreographer who lives in Auckland, New Zealand. In his new work, Birds with Sky Mirrors, he chillingly tells us about the fragility of our own planet and of how the detritus of our urban lives end up in a sink in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We move to San Francisco and Alonzo King's Lions Dance Company, an extraordinary, vibrant, diverse body of dancers who in their collaboration with the great tabla virtuoso Zakir Hussein will surely hypnotize you. Our theatre program is no less diverse and no less vibrant. One of Tennessee Williams' very last plays was called Vieux Carré, The Old Square. But it's actually about the very beginnings of his career, about his search for identity, for his sexuality, for his whole way of being. Vieux Carré by the Worcester Group is definitely something you should check out. And Elevator Repair Service. In their world premiere adaptation of The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway, If you've ever seen Greek tragedy, if you've ever experienced the work of Sophocles, I promise you, you will never have experienced it like the Gospel at Colonus. Lee Brewer's masterful production of the Sophocles Greek tragedy set as a gospel revival. And before God, I am innocent. <laughs> Caledonia is the story and the circumstances around a, a buccaneer and adventurer called William Patterson, who in the late 17th, early 18th century raised a vast amount of money to establish a colony in a place called Darien near modern-day Panama. It was a total disaster. It impoverished many, many thousands of people in Scotland. And I believe it's a parable for the commercial and financial excesses of our recent past. Check out Teatro Cinema, a perfect blend of theatre and cinema. Extraordinary technology, 
brilliantly conceived and executed, and it's completely intriguing, entrancing and beguiling theatre. El Nino by John Adams to be performed by the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra and the Edinburgh Festival Chorus open our fantastic series of concerts at the Usher Hall. Over 24 nights, we explore orchestras from all over the world. The Cleveland Orchestra, the Finnish Radio Symphony Orchestra, the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, the Royal Konzertgebouw Orchestra, the Russian National Orchestra, the Minnesota Orchestra, and our fantastic local orchestras, the Scottish Chamber Orchestra, the Royal Scottish National Orchestra, and the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra, all contribute to a fabulous program of concerts with great soloists and great conductors. The phrase that springs to my mind when I'm talking about the 2010 Edinburgh International Festival program is Oceans Apart. Although distances can be great, the cultural divide is actually narrow. We bring the world to Edinburgh and we hope the world will celebrate itself and its diverse cultures in Edinburgh.